I'm going to go through an example that covers all the concepts we've learned so far. This example has two parts. For part one, we will develop a ladder logic program to start and stop a conveyor belt. So for part one, the example is a normally open push button to start a conveyor in manufacturing setting. As soon as the operator pushes the start push button and let go, the conveyor starts and stays on. There is a stop push button, so once the operator presses on it, the conveyor stops. The stop push button is a normally open relay as well. So start and stop push buttons are inputs and both are normally open contacts. The conveyor is an output. So let's start programming by knowing how to start the conveyor. Since we're using a normally open for the start push button to start the conveyor, so in the ladder logic, we are going to use an XIC instruction and a regular output for the conveyor. And in order to keep the conveyor on, in order to keep the conveyor working, we are going to use a CLN instruction. And in the CLN instruction, we are going to use the same address as the conveyor to keep the output on, to keep the conveyor working. So now the program works this way. At the beginning, nothing's activated, but as soon as the push button is pressed, the instructions highlighted and the conveyor starts. Now the memory address of the conveyor within PLC software equals to one. So as soon as the push button is released, the ladder logic will use the CLN instruction to keep the output on, to keep the conveyor working. Now we need to program the stop push button. We need to program it in a way that the conveyor stops when the stop push button is pressed. Since we're using a normally open contact for the stop push button, we are going to use an XIO instruction to keep the continuity. And we add in series with the start push button. Now, as a normal situation, the stop push button is not pressed. It's a normally open contact, so the memory location equals to zero. And when using an XIO instruction, the instruction is highlighted when the memory location is zero. So, the instruction is highlighted without the need to press the stop push button, and that's what we need, because the stop is only pressed when we need to stop the conveyor. So now the stop push button instruction is highlighted, and as soon as the start push button is pressed, the conveyor starts. So when both inputs are on, output is on as a result. And the sealant instruction works the same way. The output will stay on even if the start push button is released. As soon as the operator presses on the stop push button, remember it's a normally open contact, so it changes its state to one. And this means the XIO instruction is not activated anymore. And as a result, the conveyor stops, even if the start push button is on. Because remember that both instructions need to be activated for the conveyor to stay on. The two instructions are in series, so both need to be on for the output to stay on. Note here that the XIO instruction cannot be included in the CLN instruction, because this will keep the conveyor on even if the stop is pressed, because it's part of the CLN instruction. And in this case, if the stop push button is pressed, the conveyor will stay on. The other mistake that a PLC programmer might run to is using an XIC instruction. Note here that since we're using a normally open contact for the stop push button, we cannot use an XIC instruction because when using an XIC, then the stop push button needs to be pressed for the conveyor to start and we don't want that. 